as a result of a four-year-old, a four-year-long sexual violence. Guess what? After it was discovered that she was being sexually molested, she was thrown out of the house where she lived with guardians. And the medical report of Achaya's situation was hidden from her unschooled mother. What has it that the wife of her guardian herself was a victim of sexual violence, raped by her husband at age 12, who later married her? So you can now understand why, irrespective of the different reports of sexual violence that the man was said to have been perpetrating, she was bent on keeping her marriage. She felt that was all she had in life. A lot of people are calling for the prosecution of the woman. In all honesty, she's an adult and she's responsible for her actions. A child was violated in her custody and she's responsible for her actions. And until we start holding people responsible for their actions, we're going to continue encouraging a lot of people to fail children. So, yeah, she was married as a child, and at this point, we remember the child marriage disaster in different parts of Nigeria. It is totally unacceptable. Children cannot consent to sexual activity. A child is anybody under 18 years old. Children cannot consent to sexual activity. There is nothing like child marriage. It is child rape. And when you keep children in rape situations, you're exposing them to a series of traumatic situations that keep compounding by the day and it keeps affecting their sense of judgment. That's how daily we injure the society. Since after Ochaya's death, several students of Benue State Polytechnic have reported molestations by the Guardian. He wasn't the only one molesting Ochaya. He was doing it with his son. It was discovered that his son was molesting Ochanya. She was violated anally and vaginally by the man and his son. And guess what the woman did? She kept quiet. Ochanya's case was known to the church. There were cases where religious leaders tried to intervene and make the matter not to be heard beyond where it was because the man is said to be a knight in church. Irrespective of who the violator is, it's about time we stopped making excuses for violators and started defending people who were violated. <laughs> there are many Ochanyas, some are still alive. One would be me. At four years old, I had an accident. I was in Nursery 1 in Akure, and I was called Ben Ben Finger. I was called Nine and a Half Fingers. So by eight years old, when I was eventually raped, I didn't know what I would be called, and for that reason, I didn't talk to anybody. Now, the fact that you're the closest person to a child does not mean the child will open up to you. The child will have to trust enough that you will be a safe space to run to. And that's why I didn't talk about it. A lot of people got to find out full details of these things when I became an adult. Where did I get therapy from? Watching the Oprah Winfrey show. That's where I got therapy from. And growing up, I tried to do the things that I learned from her. And people say it's all these oibo oibo things. But guess what? I live my life today documenting real life experiences and encouraging people to speak up and amplifying the voices of those who would speak up. And what has this done? The feedback it gives us is that more people are speaking up, more people are encouraged to speak up when they see other people have successfully spoken up and they're still alive. A lot of people are able to see that I'm still alive despite everything that's happened and somehow they're hanging in there. In the course of my work, I have met so many teenagers who have threatened to kill themselves because they were tired of the frustrations of trying to assess justice. I have met families that have told children that they were bringing shame to the family by trying to seek justice. The biggest of all is the name shaming. 
the naming and shaming of victims, the victim blaming. I've been told that there must be something about me, I must be cursed, and that's why I, I attract rape to myself. On social media, somebody said he will not allow his daughters to be raped the way I allowed myself to be raped.